How's it going, everyone? I'm gonna talk about debt, especially credit card debt, because a lot of people are basically not paying their dues every month. And this is going to cause a lot of problems, a lot of headaches. On top of that, I am gonna talk about one alternative to credit cards where the interest doesn't compound. So these compounded interest rates can add up really, really quickly. An alternative can be something like a buy now, pay later, something like a firm, for example. I did try a firm out, actually. I made a big purchase and I just bought it on Amazon, but it was a couple thousand dollars. And what I found out was that the interest rate, right? It's capped essentially. So they gave me a fixed number. So I purchased something for $2,000. They gave me a fixed number, right? So after one year, they said, this is what you owe. But what I like about a firm is that they don't have this compounded interest rate. So every month, there is not a new charge, it just gets tacked on to the sum total. And then on top of that, of course, if you pay it off sooner, then you don't have to pay interest rate. And no, this was not sponsored by a firm or any other buy now, pay later kind of thing. I might do a deeper dive into it later in the future because I found it curious and I didn't want to pay compounded interest. And I do find it useful to have cash on the side in case I want to jump into something. So why bother talking about this? Well, that's because a large number due to inflation, due to all these high rising costs, right? A, a huge number of people, of you guys, friends of mine actually as well some some people that are making bank a friend of mine is a doctor making decent money and they're <laughs> they're neck deep in debt part of it is their everyday expenses just add up add up also if you're a high earner you're getting taxed up the wazoo the people's debts are just accumulating accumulating you have a car payment five hundred dollars a month a thousand dollars a month plus insurance let's say if you're full coverage it just adds up no matter your income bracket so back to credit cards u.s consumers are having a tough time paying off every single month 46 percent of credit card holders don't pay off their dues every single month so what happens this gets compounded what's wild about this number is that it is way up from just last year it's up 39 percent that's massive what's crazy also is that according to a study by bloomberg right close to 43 percent of people they don't even realize that the inflation rate right changes the interest rate on credit cards professor at columbia business school okay he says like i said before if somebody rolls over five thousand dollars of credit card debt over five year period with the current interest rates in just five years that five thousand dollars right on the credit card turns into twelve thousand something dollars almost twelve and a half that is massive increase so rising cost of living of course a lot of people are turning to credit cards this is becoming a problem it's not just the low earners right low income brackets that don't pay off their credit card bills people earning more than a hundred thousand dollars forty percent don't pay off their bills every month forty percent that's nearly half Okay, making over $100,000 a year, they don't pay off their credit card bills every month either. So, according to TransUnion, the uptake of credit cards this year, in 2023, it's supposed to be way higher than last year. According to them, they expect 14 million more credit cards to be issued this year than last year. That's massive. So imagine what this is going to do, of course, if half the people are not paying off their dues, What's this going to do the consumer debt? Well, it's going to keep going up. Of course, rising consumer debt mixed with rising interest rates is just a ticking time bomb. But let's look at some charts. According to the latest data available to the Fed Reserve here in the States, Americans now owe a record 4.76 trillion. Fed Reserve's figures include credit card debt, student loans, auto loans, but don't factor in mortgage debt. When you include mortgages, it jumps up to like 16.5 trillion in debt. It increased just in the last year. It's nearly 17%, right? Pre-C19, pre-pandemic stuff, actually, it stayed steady roughly per year at around three and a half percent. Big difference to 17 percent. Card debt, major problem is the compounding interest rate. Why? Because the APR, get this, is at record highs. Bank rate data shows it would take 16 years for someone to pay off the current average credit card balance of $5,400 by making the minimum payments at today's interest rate. Of course, none of this stuff is a sign of a healthy economy, but there is 
one thing. There is somebody out there, there's a group of people out there that are doing okay because a luxury brand just posted for the last year, they posted record sales. Last year was the very bad year for billionaires, right? Which lost a combined income of roughly $2 trillion. So despite all these socioeconomic geopolitical problems, you know, Russia, Ukraine, <laughs> Rolls Royce published a press release stating that it recorded the highest ever annual sales in the past year. So their sales were up 8%. That's pretty big because of course they don't sell that many cars, right? What's crazy is according to Rolls Royce, this is the first time in the company's 118 year history that its sales have exceeded 6,000 in a single year. <laughs> this is the first time ever in over a hundred year history this has happened. So if everyone was losing so much money in the past year, you know, if the economy was in the crater, why the hell are some people buying Rolls Royces? It's so bizarre. CEO 2022 was a momentous year for Rolls Royce motor cars, according to Torsten Müller Utvos. And apparently for 2023, they haven't seen any slowdown in orders. So somebody, somehow, these rich folks, they're making bank and then they're acting on <laughs> they're acting on their money it gets a little weirder too apparently bentley lambo lamborghini also had record sales despite all the crazy bad news for the economy in the last year so what is going on lambo lamborghini they deliver 10 percent increase from the year prior bentley and modest four percent but nonetheless record years for these people apparently if you're a high net worth individual despite losing tons and tons of value in the stock market real estate hey you're doing all right of course everyone else you know many folks can barely afford their their car payments in some good news there is a vinyl comeback that's pretty cool right vinyl lp unit sales in the u.s from 1995 to 2022 look at this chart the sales of vinyl is just skyrocket and according to statista only 50 percent of vinyl buyers own a record players gifts i gotta say the lps just have this beautiful sound you cannot reproduce digitally i, I don't know what it is especially if you have like an old super old amplifier i mean it's amazing sound quality according to luminates 2022 year end music report the lps accounted for 43 percent of album sales in all of the united states last year okay, but th that doesn't factor in any kind of digital downloads or streaming so <laughs> you know that, that that does put it into perspective but yeah look at that chart again i mean this is going from near extinction to making a pretty pretty awesome comeback so there you go it's not all bad news there's some good news in the world plus check out that affirm and of course the bottom line is that americans actually continue to borrow because a lot of people need to make ends meet. If there is any kind of financial advice, it is to be a financial minimalist, you know? Just your bare minimum at the moment. That's the way to go. It's the way to go for everyone. I buy a Rolls Royce. You don't need a Rolls Royce. Just get a Ferrari like Igor, this uh, crypto guy. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Smash like if you haven't. Please do subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Can anybody out there hear me? Hear me?